Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to build a bike packing rig for only a hundred bucks. Lately, I've been wanting to experience bike packing or touring where you ride somewhere and camp out, but I wasn't really ready to dive deep and spend a bunch of money on something that was totally new to me. I figured the best way for me to try bike packing out on a budget was to use things that I already had and try to build out a bike packing rig. I happened to have an early 1970s Nishiki International. I found this thing in a closet at an estate sale. Because it was hardly ridden and had been stored inside, the bike was super clean for its age. It was pretty much all original, right down to the tires. With some cleaning and minor tuning, it actually rode just fine. I've used this bike for several years as my indoor trainer, but never really rode it around outside. Then I saw a video about a vintage touring bike that had been converted to a functional bike packing bike and decided uh, I would give the old Nishiki a shot. The first thing I had to do was make this old road bike road worthy. As I mentioned before, the bike rode fine, but it definitely needed its new tires. The original CST tires still had the little new tire hairs on them, but the sidewalls had some nasty cracking. I decided to replace them with some 700C Sunlight Hybrid V-Track tires, along with some Sunlight inner tubes and new rim strips. I also decided to change the brake cables and housings just to be safe, since the old ones were pretty rusted and felt really stretched out. Now that the mechanical stuff was out of the way, I could start adding some fun stuff, like this Ventura Bolt-On Bike Rack. It was relatively inexpensive, it's sturdy, and it bolted on really easily. These racks can also be used on the front of some bikes, but unfortunately it would not work on this bike due to the brake hanger being in the way. So instead I took an old handlebar bag that was being used to hold GoPro stuff and used it for front storage. This bag actually fit really well. So I jammed it full of supplies like dehydrated food, snacks, and sunscreen. And on the rear rack, I strapped down a tent, tent poles, and a dry bag, along with some extra clothes and a towel. For storing more supplies and some tools, I used a Rock Bros frame bag with an attached water bottle holder. And for small item storage, like my GoPro stuff, I flipped around a small under the seat bag and attached it to the inside of the front of the frame. Then I took an old hydration pack and attached it to where a pannier bag would go and could have used the bladder to store more water or taken the bladder out and used it to haul more gear. Lastly, I added a camping cup, a set of camping utensils, a toothbrush, and some other basic outdoor necessities that I thought I would need for an actual overnighter. Before I did a test drive, I wanted to weigh this newly built camping rig. With nothing attached, the bike weighed in at 27.6 pounds. After adding the rack, bags, gear, the bike weighed in at 39.1 pounds. All things considered, that's not too bad. Anyway, now it's time for a test ride, and I have to be honest and say, I was a little nervous about riding this bike. It was loaded down, and I never really ride drop bars out in the wild. Once I got it on the road, I actually felt pretty good. It was surprisingly balanced, it handled well, and I was able to get somewhat comfortable using the dropper bars and road brakes. But the downside was the dropper bars. I felt they were too narrow and too low for me. Again, I'm a pretty big guy. I weigh approximately 235-ish pounds, and I'm about six feet tall. So while I could ride this bike for short distances, I felt that it would be pretty uncomfortable on longer rides and somewhat limiting when going off-road. Okay, so I'm not saying that my $100 bike packing bike setup didn't work. It's just that it didn't work for me. Uh, I think using a vintage road bike slash touring bike is a great idea for a budget bike packing build, only if the bike fits you really well and you're totally comfortable riding it for long distances. In my case, that bike would be my old Scott Scale hardtail cross country bike. I've literally ridden this bike thousands and thousands of miles and lately it's just been sitting around. So stay tuned for my next budget bike packing build where I'll take this tired old hardtail and turn it into a comfortable, reliable adventure rig. Again, thanks for watching. 
please leave any questions or comments below and be sure to smash that like button if you're into this kind of thing. And we'll see you on the next one.